Hello guys, this is Vice. So today, February 21, uh, today 6 p.m., the UPSC 2023 application will end. And after this, you cannot submit a fresh form. And uh, there is a modification window for next one week. But that is only for those people who have applied. Okay, it's not like you stopped at part one registration or you did half of the filling. You did not upload the signature. If it's not complete, then you cannot modify. Okay, you should understand that it is not a uh, application window extension which they are giving for one week. They are giving a modification window. Okay, so only those who have applied and have the final registration number, they will be allowed to modify in the next one week. So I'll uh, just uh, see what are the other uh, extra uh, things which uh, the students have. Uh, told okay like there are many comments like this is not there that is not there i am not able to do 99 percent of the queries can be solved by just uh, reading the new upsc notification and other few can be uh, through the upsc helpline okay so we have already done this uh, if you see the otr uh, form what it is then live demo including fee payment till the last phase i have done then the obc non creamy layer whatever doubts a student can possibly have that i have done here and there also i gave you in case this video is not satisfying your uh, queries then there is still a helpline number there is an email in which you can contact the upsc or uh, you can again uh, there are pdfs government pdf it which will tell you like which all government jobs are under the creamy layer or not everything i have shown in this particular video okay if i couldn't answer i have at least showed you the sources where you can get the answers okay and then here the test series also in case you are there if you want to uh, enroll to ICS test series and then if you are beginner you can do the foundation 24 25 aspirants okay so all these were done free of cost and it is available so again i'll show you some more things and uh, before that i'll just tell you one input that uh, there are a lot of unlimited lectures coming up okay i'll show you the uh, upsc 2023 forms now but uh, this uh, lectures okay like daily there is going to be english and english of every subject from 7 pm to 10 pm you go to our channel every day every day almost every textbooks okay in english and english it is going to be done free of cost okay so now about this form filling which you have done the video right this one uh, let me just uh, take it here okay this is our channel if you are new to this channel so here if you see unlimited lectures are there every day of history geography polity economy whatever you can think of okay and here one more video i have done if you see here this one is the age calculator like some people are still confused like they will tell i am also 35 years old he is also 35 years old still uh, he is getting chance i am not getting chance there is a cycle okay like based on the month of august they have a cycle based on which they calculate your uh, eligibility so that an all clear concept i have explained here it is already there in the notification but since you people don't read it i had to make a video okay so now if you see a lot of comments every day comes like here the latest if you see let me see what is the see here this is the for that video only uh, everything you explained is damn clear it, i have applied it successfully thank you so much okay so this is one student who applied uh, now and so if i now click on that video right okay so this is the video a uh, 30 40 minutes video of the complete application i had done this video okay and here if you see in the last two weeks 24000 people have seen it and the, it has maybe helped them or not helped them whatever it is they have given all their uh, queries here okay so if you see here see i have a non creamy layer uh, non creamy certificate but i selected creamy uh, yes, I can edit it after submit or in mains DAF. There's nothing like mains DAF and all that's a later process. Okay, whatever you're doing now is now. So if you have applied now and if you think there is a mistake in whatever you have applied, that is why you have a modification window. Okay, so modification window is from February uh, 22 to 28. Okay, like if you take this, this is the uh, PDF, right? Okay, this is the age limit and uh, uh, let me take where is the uh, modification number of attempts. See, number of attempts and all is given clearly. Still people ask like which uh, cast, what attempt, everything is there. Okay, EWS category you have only six attempt okay only if you are ews and physically disabled only then you will get nine attempt ews what is the benefit you get is in general category you get uh, a very low cutoff compared to others okay that is the uh, thing they are giving you and uh, the number of attempt is not changing so again here if you see all the things are given here okay let me just take the modification i think it is uh, about itself it should be there okay these are all the exam centers and uh, okay I think better instead of wasting time, we'll directly search the word. When you need something like, like attempt, then simply type here attempt, then they will show you whatever is there. Okay. So modification is what you want to know. Okay. Because many people had that doubt that I did like this, I did like that. Can I uh, do any changes? Okay. So separate paragraphs they have given here in this how to apply see the first page is that we have given about modification otr profile and modification application form other than the otr profile this much english clearly they have written but instead of reading this you prefer to go and ask youtubers like us or many other people like sir what to do what to do please believe in upsc first okay you are giving for a upsc exam please believe what they are telling to you read their pdf and then from that tell like okay sir i am not understanding that particular line then i can understand but without even reading this please don't depend on anyone including vice okay 
because you have to be capable of running a district later if you become an IS officer. And if you can't fill a simple form, then how will you handle lots of government documents? So think about the, those things Bef before becoming an IAS, show the traits of an IAS, okay, or an IPS or whatever you want to be. So here, if you see, uh, you can change this uh, till uh, if you see 28 February, okay. And OTR, one thing is that you can do only once, meaning now itself, if you have changed it, right, you made it once and you changed it once, then after that, I don't think they will allow because there is somewhere written here that it will see allowed only once in lifetime after the registration. So just because you have a modification window, that does not mean they will allow you again. Okay, because after 21st anyway, your application complete filling is over. Then what is the need of uh, changing an OTR? So now if you have already done one modification of OTR, that means it's done. Now OTR, you cannot change after that. Okay, now in case if you have not uh, done it I mean, twice, meaning only once you have done and now you want to do something, they will allow, I think that is what they have written, seven days after the next day after the closure of application window, that is after 21st, 22nd onwards till 28th, they will allow OTR also in case you have not modified the OTR till now. Now in other things again, See, 22nd to 28th, they will allow. And here, correctly, they are telling, decided to extend the facility of making corrections in any field of the application form. When they tell any field, then please don't come and ask like, sir, can I change the main center? Can I change the optional subject? Can I change the first name? Can I change the last name? What? When they tell any right, you can change anything, obviously. So this clear first sentence is there and without reading this, please do not put because under that video itself, okay, under that video which I showed you, there are hundreds of comments like, can I change that? Can I change this? Can I change? If when they tell any field, obviously that is like that. No. Then after that, if UPC doesn't allow, you have every right to go and ask them that you have told in the notification that any field is allowed, then now you are not allowing. So you can complain. Okay. But when it's written clearly, please don't do that. Okay. Please don't ask that. Like, can I change optional? Can I change uh, my cast? Can I change this thing? You can change anything. That is what they have written here. Okay. This is about the uh, modification window. So again, as I told, this is a modification window, not an application window. Okay. So you have to apply it here. Online applications can be filled up to 21st February till 6 p.m. And the eligible candidate shall be issued an admit card three weeks before the exam. That is May 28th is your exam. By May first week, you will get the admit card and you will get, doesn't mean they will send you. They will not send you. They will not give you by post. Nothing. They will even not even notify you. Okay. They will, because you know, it's May first week. That time you have to go to the UPSC website and there our link would have come. Okay. In this online NIC, it will be like admit card out or something will be there. There you click on it, put down your registration number, which you get now by application and you can download it. Okay. Registration number, your birth rate and your name, something like that they ask and you uh, click on it and download it and that soft copy that you can print it and not can you should print it you have to print it and you have to carry it and that can be color print also that can be black and white print also doesn't matter okay so that you can take and go and some people ask like the photograph which i put i'm wearing spectacles is there any problem there is no problem in wearing spectacles and all in this ias ips job and all okay it's not any for like any military or uh, army navy or something it is for upsc only so specs is allowed okay so again if uh, these things are all in case again if you want to confirm you can again call UPSC uh, helpline okay unless they tell here that in the photo you should not wear specs uh, or it should be like that or it should be like white background blue background because some exams ask that also that your background of the photo should be white background of the uh, this thing should be uh, blue okay if you apply to some uh, Middle East jobs Dubai jobs or maybe some particular uh, manufacturing job and all they ask like that but when nothing is mentioned you don't imagine things in your mind okay just believe what is written in the UPSC notification okay any everything this is the most detailed form I will tell compared to any other exam in India, I have noticed UPSC form is always the most detailed. Only problem is or only main difficulty I find is the OBC NCL certificate. Sometimes it's not very clear. I understand that. That is because state to state it varies. The uh, people, the uh, people who is issuing, it's not like from a central government website, you are downloading it. You are going to your nearest Taluk office. So I understand the people's attitude and people's signal. There you have issues. And for that only an OBC related a separate video I made. Okay. So now again, I'll go back to this video so that we'll see whether any unique queries are there because I tried to come and reply every comment more than 500 comments are there still i personally went and replied almost every comment maybe i missed one or two that is why i'm doing this video okay so again what should i upload caste certificate number or obc non creamy layer certificate your caste certificate is useless in you in upsc okay like an obc person has no reservations it is an obc non creamy layer person who has reservations so obviously all the details you will fill about the obc non creamy layer certificate only okay simply you put a obc certificate what is the point how will they know whether the certificate is useful to you or whether you actually deserve age relaxation this is the one which is valid so this one is the one later you will upload also hard copy when they ask you and this is the one details you have to fill okay now people 
people ask like there is no community certificate number written inside this community certificate number means just a number to identify your certificate okay maybe it's written serial number maybe it's written something else but it should be a unique number or a code or something which is there in that so that later what you filled in this form and what they get the hard copy they can cross check and verify okay this is the same person this is the same document he has done correctly application much before the date we told it is valid so you are just proving that validity okay so don't complicate these many things these kind of things are not okay now i didn't get otp through mobile phone and i tried in the internet shop this i don't think any problem because i have done in the live demo video which this video only i have done at least five six seven times i have uh, done this otp and i have showed you that not even a single time it failed every time it has come that means in case it's coming not coming for you it is your poor mobile network or your poor email id or you don't have internet something is the problem with your network only okay because i didn't face any issues and i, I don't also have a very powerful wi-fi and all here okay i have done from my personal uh, wi-fi only and it is not very powerful it's poor average wi-fi only so it it is working so please try again and in case it doesn't work ultimately you have to call upsc helpline and tell this okay now again certificate before 2022 it is useless okay it is i told you in this video also still you are asking this question you cannot use an outdated certificate you have to be the latest one based on your last three years of income okay first go to your taluk office ask for income certificate based on your father's income and based on that income they will issue an obc ncl single certificate okay one certificate only that is what you have to present okay now this one this again some i don't know these people whether they are preparing for upsc from some poor source or something because they don't know that girls don't have to pay fees okay girls do not have to pay fees okay i think scst also do not have to pay fees so that please it's written clearly in the notification okay there's a section called fees also uh, in the this thing okay so like that again when you have doubts something instead of asking here in youtube you should directly go and type there okay so i don't know maybe fees maybe lot of uh, search results will come or i don't know how it is admission uh, fee Let's see here fee Candidate except female SC, ST, persons with Benja, this thing, anybody has to require this thing. Meaning you don't have to pay fees. When this is clearly written, a separate column is there for fees, for physical standards, for everything. Please read this. Okay, don't tell that, uh, sir, fee payment option is not coming. Okay, you don't have to pay fees. That is why it doesn't come. When you put the uh, gender as female in the starting page itself, you don't have to pay the fees. Okay. Uh, number of attempts second but uh, much zero fill okay. you filled zero instead of two for the number of attempts obviously that is wrong okay correction important yeah? correction is important you have to correct it you cannot lie to upsc that okay i have done five attempts and i will put zero you cannot put zero now in the modification window please go and change it okay i have replied okay i have replied this but i'm reading out again because there'll be many other students who maybe did not see my these videos did not uh, uh, know whom to ask okay that's why i'm answering again in this last minute because today you have still time till 6 pm uh, graduate degree with at least mathematics as one of the subject. I am graduate in BSc Mathematics. This is like again, okay, people asking like you don't even know what to fill for your degree means what I'll tell. BSc Mathematics Honours is your degree. That means obviously it is a graduation degree with at least one mathematics subject. Okay, what is so complicated in that? So fill that. If there is nothing written like BSc Mathematics, but there is an option called uh, 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 degree with maths as one subject. Then obviously yours is such a degree, no? They will not exactly write your name because there are ten thousands of degrees in this country. They cannot list everything in the drop down, so they would have given like that. Graduate with at least physics as one of the subject. Graduate at least agriculture as one of the subject. So then you are eligible, or that is what you have to select. Okay. So please don't ask questions which is very uh, simplistic. Okay. Father's name, mother's name, for them initial, before, after. I don't know what is the question, but maybe uh, like uh, some people have that, that uh, first name, last name, and the, they put uh, Ulta in here and there. In Aadhaar card, it will be different. In 10th, it will be different. You have to use what is there in your Aadhaar card, ideally, because that is what you will carry to your exam hall. So that whatever it is, it should match in your OTR and every form in your admit card, everything it should match. Else they will reject you in the prelims hall itself. Okay, if your admit card is something else, like uh, like suppose uh, uh, Rakesh Sharma and in your uh, other place it is like Sharma Rakesh or something, they will reject you. Okay, whatever you carry, that document should match with the admit card which you have. Okay, still if you have problem like 10th and this mismatch, I think you should call UPSC and ask like later will it be problem. That's the later part. But for prelims hall entry, your Aadhaar card and your admit card should match. Okay. I fill the form using mobile. This is one thing I will recommend. Don't fill in mobile. Okay, because most of the people are not getting part two registration option. They are not getting print application option. Many things are not coming because every website which is like that to this much big form kind of thing and all may not be like properly integrated in the mobile versions. Okay, yeah, especially like Android, it will look different. iPhone, it will look different. So I recommend always government job exams and anything important you do, do it in laptop or computer. If you don't have, go to the nearest internet cafe and do. Please don't complicate with the mobile phone because that can 
cause some weird outputs which we can't answer okay we also don't know how it will react okay uh, driving license pan card nahi sirf aadhar card isme mera naam aati hai jabki baki documents mark sheet was again this mismatch of uh, documents like i have already told what you carry to the exam hall that should match with the admit card and the remaining thing still because of this complication because this is like not like everyone will have problem this is a unique cases in certain cases so you please ask upsc helpline okay because such things i don't know whether they have answered in the uh, this thing frequently asked questions also i don't know whether they have answered because mismatch and all ideally you should have corrected especially when you are an aspirant of government job you should make sure that everywhere every government documents which you hold in your house you should have a single name okay it's not a big deal to change things now there is lot of online options you should have ideally changed all your certificates to one name okay there is options now i forget to put my home city in address this thing this thing again editing only i think so editing that only i am telling any any field you can edit any field you can edit in the uh, window okay then whenever you have this fractions and all obviously it is a common sensical thing not only in upsc put the nearest whole number okay if it is 65.7 put it 66 if it is 65.2 then put it 65 okay if it is less than 0.5 i am telling less than 0.5 is the uh, this thing decimal point put it the lower uh, whole number if it's more than 0.5 put the bigger whole number this is pure common sensical mathematics thing so put it like that okay i am graduated in bsc general but option is not there this i told right that bsc whatever subject is that select that subject okay i could not see latest info in mobile mobile we can't help you because i cannot guarantee how the mobile uh, uh, app or website will behave okay center decre maybe declaration i agree but submit nahi ho raha maybe again you are trying through mobile phone because i don't think in laptop you will get an issue or it's your internet problem okay i am not able to take the final application print out this again some people told this issue so i don't know whether it's because of your mobile phone thing or maybe still in laptop also you are getting them you have to call upsc helpline okay but still if you have got the registration number you have got the email and this thing Uh, what is that uh, sms that uh, your application complete then you are safe only your application is complete only but still since you are not able to print that final form you can call upsc and ask or try after some time and specs as far as i know specs is allowed in the photograph there is no clause as of now still go through the notification one more time and in case uh, any doubt call the upsc helpline okay obc ncl again i am telling ncl is what is uh, will give you age relaxation so use that details everywhere okay then this photo resizing if you don't know uh it is there in upsc notification they have given how to do it with pictures they have given examples and if you don't know go to a nearest computer center they will tell you how to resize it okay it's a simple thing okay resizing the, the for uh, this thing then in my percentage again this one okay put it to the nearest whole number so 64 you have to put in this case uh, communication address is different from aadhar card so again uh address is not physical address upsc doesn't care usually because they are not going to send you anything by post so uh, uh, again call the upsc helpline okay so i would have told that only maybe i don't know what i have told here i tell you your aadhar card yeah, i have told upsc helpline because your aadhar card name and this thing should match with what you fill in the admit card then this one obc non i am eligible this eligibility as i told calculator i have already done this is 788 788 and obc means you are not eligible because it's before august okay if it was uh, eighth okay eighth month Second August or later, you are born OBC. Then you are eligible for two thousand twenty-three because you will be correctly age thirty-five. Okay, but this is actually you are crossed age thirty-five and this is the second month or something. That is why this is not eligible. Okay, for this thing. So unfortunately, uh, that person cannot give the exam this year. OBC NCL Central format. There is no mention for certificate number. here while filling form this is what i told what is the unique identifier for that certificate with which you are claiming relaxation that just fill it there. I submitted Aadhar card as proof, but small part under the photo was cropped, which is Aadhar card. But that is number. You did not upload properly. That is what you are telling. Yes. So yes, you can edit it in the uh, edit, uh, window. Okay. Uh, part one, part two, photo upload. Ni ho paya. So photo upload par. Bilkul. Sir, koi solution. Photo upload par. Bilkul. So ab. Open he nahi something they are telling is not able to open something of the photo upload or something so again it will be network issue only because uh, ideally you should not face any issue okay so again it's not working again the second time uh, call UPSC helpline okay this one I don't know what is reply EWS certificate so income so make a EWS is a different concept that also it's given there okay like uh, this much income this much agriculture land this much that and all you can uh, search either youtube there will be different videos for EWS i have not made a video uh, EWS uh, the income criteria is different compared to obc okay it's the same 8 lakh income only uh, for creamy and non creamy and all but uh, other things are also there the house the agriculture many things they are considering last time applied so can i apply same or not i don't know what does it mean for each exam you have to apply again and again okay it's not like your last application is valid 
each exam is different for muslim which caste you have to know your caste okay there is different caste like sheikh ansari and something something else there 10 15 caste are there and muslims also don't think muslim doesn't have caste and there also there is creamy and non creamy because uh, muslim caste also will come under obc creamy or non creamy based on that only you will get reservation so that complete thing in that video i have told in this video only i have told you uh, sorry not this video obc video i have told you please go and watch that part 1 result kiya tha lekin mai aadhar card अब वो चेंज कैसे करो अगेन यू वांट टू चेंज समथिंग चेंज इन द मॉडिफिकेशन विंडो कम्युनिटी सर्टिफिकेट नंबर पुट द यूनिक नंबर ओके पुट द यूनिक आइडेंटिफायर नंबर फ्रॉम योर टॉक सो दैट लेटर इफ यू सी कैन वेरीफाई योर डॉक्यूमेंट एन यू गिव हार्ड कॉपी okay so i have tried replying almost every comments most of them are repetitive final year when your final year percentage column if they have not told anything clearly in the pdf because i have not read that section then because you still can apply i know that but when you apply uh, if, if you don't have a, obviously you won't have a final percentage you can put the aggregate percentage of last 6 semester 7 semesters or whatever btech or whichever degree you are doing that uh, you can put it because anyway by the time you reach mains you would finish your degree and uh, you will have a final aggregate thing so that time you can produce the documents of the semesters before that and the final semester so that they will it's not be a big problem upsc is not going to reject you something on that basis or not okay whatever you can prove it you can type it you can give it front side of the aadhar card aadhar card front side back side together if you take and put it in a pdf that is better but ideally front side is enough because there itself your name birth everything is there because your physical address which is there in the back side is not much useful for uh, upsc what here is email is getting invalid this is a personal uh, thing yeah. Yeah, nothing like that will happen okay email invalid means either you have already applied with that email id or that email id itself has some problem try with a different email id bsc graduate again if qualification is not there take something like a graduate degree with computer as some subject something like that will be there so take what suits you or describes your degree state or central obc it's not same it is different thing uh, it's for uh, that's what watch the obc video okay obc related video is there watch that video not accepting the decimal so you can type 79 so this again maybe i missed it 6 days ago he has uh, put the nearest uh, whole number i am an obc candidate falling under ncl i don't think i'll be able to get my certificate till close day 21st february can i apply general this year this again not like apply general you can apply in obc and obc there is a two options creamy non creamy so because you don't have that put it as creamy as of now because you cannot prove that you are a non creamy right so don't feel general because your caste is obc so obc and then do it like this and next year obviously you can again apply as obc and ncl there is nothing like because this year and next year they are not going to record it and keep it and all they will allow different applications with different based on whether you want to claim relaxation or not like an obc person if suppose it's his fourth attempt he don't need to claim any relaxation okay but of, but if it's his seventh attempt then obviously because you have crossed six you need to prove it so like that each year it can vary based on whether you have the document or not is again community certificate number as i told use the obc and ncl unique identifier number phone notification not coming it is your network issue community certificate number again same thing aadhar dono side photo not mandatory uh different non creamy layer for state gun again same okay the same questions i don't want to answer and i have already told also now in this video also in case till now you didn't get the answer age relaxation you want to claim you claim you don't want to claim you don't want to claim okay like you are already like maybe 25 years old then why should you claim don't claim as i put obc and tell no not claiming age relaxation okay if you have the obc ncl then put that it will help you maybe little bit cut off benefit you will get final year students percentage again aggregate percentage you can put or the latest semester you can put whichever you can prove it later when they ask uh, scst 32 age relaxation again if you don't want to claim don't claim else claim there's no issue in these things and all whatever you feel doesn't matter i feel my aadhar card how can i correct modification window sorry each day in between all the recording work and all these things i have to answer to these hundreds of queries also that is why sometimes uh, uh, some delays happen so please uh, i apologize for those things because uh, even test series paid students sometimes tell sir my test has not come this has not come so because i am working multiple things at a time and i try to personally attend every student that is why this happens okay uh, didn't appear this again please read type attempt in your 
notification you will understand okay these are basic things you should at least know how your attempt is counted online payment not pressing technical problem this is a personal payment problem if upsc reject your payment then you have to complain else your payment is failing means you have to call your bank or you have to try it again okay so these are like not only this thing if you do have a simple flip card shopping also if payment is failing you cannot ask questions here okay that is your payment issues it is nothing to do with upsc mistakenly in part 2 prelims i select my center in a different state yes you can edit you can edit anything that is what upsc form uh, this thing tells notification tells thank you so much for quality content so we like uh, people thanking us also because that rarely people do only complaints will be there but uh, thanking only maybe few people do here so can i change my category from obc to general obc to general also you can do there is no issue but if you are an obc fill obc only okay is it mandatory to scan the photo without scanning how are you going to upload maybe if you are asking like can i take click a photo and do it you can do that also that is also equivalent to scanning nowadays with smartphone if you click a photo of your uh, whatever you have and then crop it and resize it that is also fine it has to be in the digital form that's all fill the form by performing upi uh, pc disconnected again pay payment uh, problem means it's a technical issue so either you have to try again if it's not allowing either through the bank or then again call upsc helpline and ask whether what to do non creamy up to 31 march 2024 is valid for non creamy validity up to this is i don't understand there is no such document where you can do like that you have to each time get the new income certificate and based on the new income certificate you have to make the new non creamy you cannot because i know there are some states which issue a certificate and tell you like okay 5 years this is valid but such things upsc won't accept upsc wants a latest document in the timeline which they tell you okay calculation part and all i don't know you can uh, google how you calculate cga pay percentage and all okay very much required so there's a thank you message finally bsc computer science again graduation column choose like if whatever subject is there choose that so again cgpa aadhar card front side back side center us you can change part one registration please explain so registration is not completed not completed means something you have filled is wrong or something so try again okay and if it's still not working they are not allowing call upsc helpline uh processing stopped so this is all a network issues okay like you are doing something poor internet or something obviously page will get stuck or hang and then maybe it doesn't reflect that time you have to call upsc helpline and tell that like can i do something afresh or new otr can i do tell them okay maybe with a new email id and phone number you can try again so like that please ask them because these are the technical website issues okay so i think almost every query i have replied and now it's all repeating okay can i change something or obc or maybe the uh, center change okay so like this like this right in the obc certificate video again hundreds of queries are there so please go and read that also and even after reading all this you still don't get anything that means it is some very very unique issue and for that we will not be able to help you you have to call upsc helpline okay you have to call upsc helpline so i will not uh, and this icsc board i know is icsc board doesn't have a proper uh, roll number i think so you can take whatever again is the unique identifier later when they verify your documents that number and the number in your thing should match so whatever is the unique number put it there okay even if you don't have a proper roll number concept in icsc this i have heard from few students okay mistakenly entered you can change in the modification window okay so obc again obc and all i have already explained multiple times yes i you can modify main center so i have done almost everything i will wind up this video because uh, people will feel like like uh, i don't have an issue why should i watch this much lengthy video so uh, i hope i have answered everybody's query in case again it's not there try putting in comment section but please don't repeat things which we have told okay please don't ask like age eligibility whether i can give exam because everything i have made video okay and watch the lectures every single day these are the four five videos i am telling you mandatorily watch i will again uh, try to answer if it's a unique query but else please don't ask okay so good luck for your this thing and again in modification window time i'll try to make again video in case there are something new uh, pops up okay so thank you and have a nice day